Voices of Bravery, honoring the veterans of Vietnam. Sponsored by Duval Motor Company. We're on the bow of the USS Orlick, or the Foxel, as the sailors would say. And we are here to show you something good. Good folks trying to right a wrong. Because when our Vietnam veterans came home from war, they were treated awfully. They were cussed at, they were spit on, called terrible names. They didn't get the homecoming they deserved. But now through First Coast Honor Flight, they can. I wasn't spit on, but somebody spit in my direction. I was spit on. When I came home, I got spit on. We were told, don't wear your uniforms. You, you know, don't get on the plane with your uniform on. Even a nurse? Oh, yes. You're saving lives. Still Vietnam. I got off the plane, he was spit at, he was called a baby killer. He was everything you could possibly think of. There were no homecoming celebrations, ticker tape parades for many Vietnam veterans. Hell fighting in Vietnam. The war came to Saigon early in the morning of January 31st. Lorenzo Neely in the Tet Offensive. Which was a complete massacre. Too much killing, too much. Only to return home to a different battlefield. Mentally it got to me, so here I am. <laughs> For Neely and the thousands of other Vietnam veterans across our first coast, the dark past can't be changed. But a group called First Coast Honor Flight is working to brighten the future for Vietnam veterans to alleviate the internal battle many keep fighting to this day. It's a day trip to D.C. Hey, I felt great. A flight from Jacksonville where onlookers stop what they're doing to applaud. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. A true ovation and welcome when arriving. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Did you get that? Spending time touring D.C. For the Vietnam vets, it's not just a day. R really, it's a lifetime for them. It's, it's recognizing their service that was never recognized. Don Simmons, the president of First Coast Honor Flight, and he says the most powerful part of the day in D.C. for him. They get to the wall, and they all know people. And they stop there, you know, at their friend that they knew when they were 18, 19, 20 years old. So that, that's me. Neely took that trip and found his name in a book of veterans who served. The tiniest of recognition that meant the world to him. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. I didn't believe nobody knew it except for me. Yeah. <laughs> First Coast Honor Flight takes World War II, Korea, and Vietnam veterans free of charge on these trips, a trip they may not have taken otherwise. They're partnered with a volunteer guardian, camaraderie built in a long day of travel to return home to a night of celebration. I just wish there was a, a way that we could get all the veterans that, especially the Vietnam vets that never had anything. They deserve something like this. For Neely and veterans like him, perhaps just a small, time of peace after a lifetime of war. It's beneficial for me, <laughs> and it's going to be all right. Yeah. That is so cool. And they're so happy when they come back from these flights twice a year, and right now the organization needs to get as many Vietnam veterans on these flights as possible. And so we invite you to continue to honor our Vietnam veterans. Watch Voices of Bravery April 13th on First Coast News as we honor the veterans of Vietnam.